Hey everyone, I'm Evan Walsh. And I'm Corrine Schieffer. And today we wanted to talk about building seller confidence in the current real estate market. That's right, so with everything that's going on in the world today, it's impossible not to think about the impact that it will have on real estate. So let's dig in, and what we're seeing is there are really three main points we would like to focus on. Number one, home showings are actually higher now than they were before COVID-19. Mm -hmm. Two, we're seeing an appreciation of prices in real estate and three, sellers, you have some options. Absolutely. When it comes to home showings, according to Showing Time, which is a central database most agents rely upon to schedule private showings, they publish data that doesn't just show an increase in showings, but that they're actually higher than they were at the beginning of the year. That's right. And while they may have dipped during the worst of the shutdowns, low mortgage rates have led eager buyers back to the market in force. Mm -hmm. However, sellers have been slow to return at the same rate, making many markets extra competitive. The yeah. buyers are out there though, and it's the perfect time for sellers to capitalize on these opportunities. Absolutely. Speaking of, let's talk about prices. So we're seeing a continued appreciation of real estate with many economists predicting that low supply and high demand will continue to fuel the home prices. Mm -hmm. The tendency for some to refer to this recession in a similar way as the Great Recession in 2007, 2009 is just ill-informed. That's right. Before the Great Recession, the housing market had irresponsible mortgage lending, uh, an oversupply of homes, overtapped equity, but today's market looks nothing like that. Stricter lending practices, an undersupply of homes, and more homeowners have more equity, over 40% owning their home outright throughout the United States. Yeah, that's true and pretty impressive. So if someone wants to take advantage of COVID pricing and wants to cash out on the large nest egg that you built, you have options. Right now as a seller, you can dictate a lot of the terms for your sale. So whether it's an extended closing, a potential lease back, or even an expedited timeline, with multiple offers coming in on high demand properties, now is the time to take advantage of getting top dollar and moving when it's right for you. That's right, and as an example, we're currently working with a local family who's interested in capitalizing on their home value by cashing out and selling, but aren't quite ready to retire. With recent college graduates having returned home due to COVID, they're finding their once empty nest is now full again. Common theme. So, yeah, so we're working on finding them a rental to buy them time to look for the best situation for themselves and to give their kids a chance to settle into adulthood. Yeah, it's a great example. Uh, so in summary, we've highlighted three main points today that we hope will provide you with some confidence in making a decision as to whether or not you're considering selling your home in today's market. Number one, home showings higher than they were before COVID. Mm -hmm. Two, prices continue to appreciate. And three, sellers have options. That's right. All right, Kareen, thank you. That is a wrap for today. And as always, if you all have any questions about real estate, buying or selling, please don't hesitate to pick up the phone and call us today.